Hello again, welcome to basics of noise and its measurement. Uh, this week we are discussing uh, some of the signal processing techniques uh, in context of noise measurements and what we are specifically uh, doing uh, or what we did in the last lecture was uh, cover this whole uh, topic related to Fourier series expansions of periodic functions and we will continue that discussion in this lecture and probably also partly in the next lecture. So, in the last class what I had discussed was that how can we uh, compute constants A0, An for a periodic function whose time period is uh, 2 pi seconds or 2 pi radians or whatever. So, now we will continue this discussion and we had figured out how to find A0 and An and next what we are going to do is figure out the value of Bn. Okay. So, finding Bn. So, once again if we have to find Bn the so to find Bn what uh, we have to do is again I take the original equation which is F t equals a 0 plus a uh, n cosine of n t plus b n cosine of n t and uh, multiply both sides by instead of cosine function sine function and also d t and then integrate the whole thing. So, that is what we are going to do. So, I am going to rewrite that equation and integrate it after multiplying it by cos uh, uh, the sine function. So, that is my relation and uh, the contribution from this A0 term when I multiply A0 by sin of m t integrated I get a cosine term and the value of that cosine term in the uh, at the both the limits because it is a odd function uh, it is I am sorry it is an even function are same. So, when I take the difference I get 0. So, the contribution from the A0 term is 0 and then I have this summation term n equals 1 to n equals infinity integral minus pi to pi a n cosine n t sin m t plus b n sin n t and times sin of m t t t. Now, in the last lecture we had seen that the integral of this cosine times sin cosine n t times sin m t in the limits minus pi to pi is 0 and the same term is appearing here. So, I do not have to redo that whole mathematics, but I can straight away say that this is 0 for the same reasons it was 0 in the last class uh, in the uh, in the last uh, relation. And then the sin n t times sin m t is nothing but uh, cosine n minus m t minus cosine of n plus m t. Okay. So, this is what this thing is. So, I can rewrite this whole thing as
So, once again uh, when I integrate this I, uh, I get again two sign terms and the integration of uh, this term where in the limits minus pi to pi is again 0 for the reasons which I had discussed earlier and from here I get nothing but pi times b n because all other terms in this series are 0 excuse me it's b m ok. So, b m equals 1 over pi integral minus pi to pi f t sin m t d t or since I was trying to find b n. So, I will just erase it and replace it by n and t t t ok. So, to summarize a 0 equals 1 over 2 pi minus pi to pi f t d t a n equals 1 over pi minus pi to pi integral f t cosine n t d t excuse me sorry cosine n t d t and b n is equal to 1 over pi minus pi to pi f t sin n t d t ok. So, if I have a function something like this and if the time period let us say this this is time axis and this is the value of f t and if the time period is such. So, it is time period is what this is the time period and if the time period is if time period equals 2 pi then I can use these relations I can use these relations to compute a 0 a n and b n and then plug them back into our Fourier expansion and express this whole function as a sum of sines and cosines, but these relations are good only if the time period is 2 pi. If the time period is not 2 pi then we have to slightly modify uh, the whole thing. So, what I will do is rather than going into details what I will do is actually give you the whole relation. So, if time period is not equal to 2 pi, but some other value then first thing is then I can express f t as a naught plus again sum of sines and cosines a n cosine of 2 n pi over t times t plus b n sin of 2 n pi over t times t ok. And I am going to directly write the results for a 0 and for this situation the value of a naught can be computed by this formula. So, a naught is 1 over t integral of f t over d t in the limits minus t over 2 to plus t over 2 a n is equal to 2 over t integral minus t over 2 to t over 2 f t cosine 2 n pi over t t d t and b n 
is equal to 2 over t again integrating between these two limits t sin 2 pi n over period times <coughs> time times dt. So, these are the relations and they work for all periodic functions regardless whatever their time period is. So, what we will do is we will do an example. Okay. So, I have a function f t such that it, it has a value of 0 if time is between minus 1 and minus 2 and it has a value of k if time is between 1 and minus 1 and it has a value 0 if time is between 2 and 1 and then we are also saying that the overall time period is 4 seconds. So, how does that function this function look like? Okay. So, that is my f t this is my time axis. So, it is the value is k between minus 1 and 1 k is a constant. So, so, this is 1, this is minus 1, this is k okay. and then between 1 and 2 it is 0. So, this is 1 and this is 2, it is 0 here and then between minus 1 and minus 2 also it is 0. So, this is my function and then it repeats itself and it repeats itself after every 4 seconds after every 4 seconds. So, so basically the function is like this. and so on and so forth okay. and this is my time period. So, let us say this is 4, 3, 5, 7, 9 and so on and so forth. So, what we will do is we will actually compute values of a naught, a n and b n for this thing. So, a naught is equal to 1 over t minus t over 2 to t over 2 f t d t. Okay. Now, if you look at this function t is equal to 4 seconds. So, t over 2 equals 2 and the value of this function is non zero only in the limit minus 1 to 1 for all other uh, during the other part of the time period it is zero so what i can do is i can write it as 1 over t minus 1 to 1 and the value in this uh, uh, limit minus 1 to 1 is k dt okay so, this comes to be k over 2. Next is a n and that equals 2 over t integral minus t over 2 to t over 2 f t times cosine of 2 pi n over time period times time d t and this is again if I integrate it from minus 2 to plus 2 
which is uh, the limits between minus 2 to minus 1 the value is 0. So, I can ignore it between 1 to 2 the value is 0. So, I have to only integrate it in the region 1 to minus 1. So, what I get is minus 1 to 1 and the value of f t in this range is k times cosine of 2 pi n over t times t d t. And if I do the math, I will write this directly and this is equal to 2 k over n pi sin n pi over 2. So, you can do this math if you do the integration and do all the things correctly this is what you will get. And if you find the values of this whole thing what you will find that sin of n pi over 2 is equal to 0 if n is even right and it is equal to 1 if n equals 1, 5, 9 and so on and so forth and equals minus 1 if n equals 3, 7, 11 and so on and so forth. So, that is the value of a 0 that is the value of a n. So, I have to multiply these values for different values of n and get the actual values of a n. And finally, b n if you calculate and you do this math you will find that here instead of cosine you will get a sine function and when you integrate it you will get a cosine and cosine being an even function its value will be same at 1 and minus 1. So, the difference will be 0. So, b n will come out to be 0. Okay. So, my overall function will be something like this k over 2 plus 2 k over pi cosine pi t over 2 minus 1 by 3 cosine 3 pi t over 2 plus 1 over 5 cosine 5 pi over 2 minus and then this series keeps on going forever. And if I put in a lot of uh, terms of this series and add them up our overall function will look very close to the function which we had plotted which is this one. So, that is for Fourier series for you and that completes our treatment of Fourier series expansion and in the next class what we will do is we will start discussing uh, Fourier integrals in uh, and then learn a little bit more about those. Thank you very much and we will see you tomorrow. Bye.